Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Uh, just a few uh, short words before we start and look at the charts. I am uh, trying to uh, take this show to the next level. I would like to have uh, live uh, streams and be able to interact with you, uh, every one of you. Uh, the ones that at least want to <coughs> um, join me for the live streams and ask questions and we could uh, make this show a bit more interactive uh, that would be a very nice um, uh, goal for me right now but as I see the um, uh, subscription level is around 500 I would like to have at least 1000 subscribers so that it becomes viable because you, you know if you want to make a live stream with just uh, two or three or five people uh, it's not so interesting as having a lot more of you guys just joining and um, asking your questions and me trying to interact directly uh, so this this is just a word of um, you know incentive uh, for you guys if you want to uh, share with some of your friends uh, the channel and maybe help uh, get more subscriptions when we reach the 1000 subscriptions i will probably start doing live streams we could do something like um, a weekly live stream on sundays just uh, before the close of the week for example that would be a nice time to have a live stream and answer all the questions and other um, but uh, i guess um, uh, one of the um, probabilities is i just make a poll on twitter and you guys uh, tell me which would be the the best time to have this weekly live stream but anyway so this is just um, uh, me asking your help uh, if you want to see the channel grow and have live streams and uh, a bit more of interaction between you guys watching me and i answering questions live and probably even checking some other charts um, if you if you would like me to do it so please uh, help the channel and uh, tell your friends to subscribe and join our community which is growing um, and when we reach the 1000 subscribers we can think about starting a live stream every week so uh, i hope you i hope you help the channel grow and we can we can not even just having live streams but we could also think about some other uh, different things like for example some interviews to people that are relevant to the space and to bitcoin of course and crypto in general but these are just ideas and of course we need subscribers to implement those ideas because uh, you know just having a live stream with no one there it's not so it's not so um, interesting so <coughs> let me just put the microphone here it was a bit underneath my mouth so okay so this is um, this was just a word of uh, asking um, just to ask for your help in and let's go to the charts so as usual we start with the price to time model um, let's uh, zoom in a bit and see where we are regarding the exponential thresholds that i have here this orange line here most of you guys already know what this is uh, for those who don't this is just the median line that crosses all the um, corners of the squares and of the rectangles in this case and for me it indicates where the price is becoming overextended if it crosses to the upper side if the price is below this orange uh, exponential curve here it tells me that the price action is healthy and sustainable and nothing is overextended and so we can expect a more um, normal um, normal behavior and not uh, high volatility or big retracements so right now we are below the exponential curve here the weekly candle looks very healthy it's green it's below the orange curve so everything seems in place and working as expected for a sustainable and healthy price action okay so bitcoin today um had a nice rally we this uh, the weekly candle you were just watching was actually red yesterday so today we had a nice rally and the 
the candle became green, which is a very, very good sign. Uh, so let's move to the MRI strategy and oscillators. And we will start <coughs> we will start by the monthly chart, which there's no point having a zoom here because the candles are so big that everyone can see them for sure. We, st we are still trading above the uh, white trend lines that I plotted here on this chart. On the weekly, you can see them much better and not crossing the bodies of the candles, for co of course. The RSI continues pointing up, although it's not going up as before until the month of December, which, you know, the inclination of the, of the line was much uh, higher than it is now, so we continue to decline a bit. The MACD, as expected on the monthly chart, is not showing any signs of becoming bearish. Um, it's still very, very bullish. Uh, you know, the, the bars are growing. The blue line is still very distant from the red line. So we are in a bullish scenario for the monthly chart. Uh, the Fisher distance from the EMA is uh, reaching high levels. <laughs> Okay, so let's go to the weekly chart where we can see much better here the trends. Okay, so <coughs> sorry for that. So by the way, this trend line has been touched. Well, not counting the beginning of the line, of course, this trend line has been touched here. One, two, three weeks in a row. Then we went up in a new exponential price uh, action going upwards then we had a correction but this correction did not touch the trend line so we are still safe in this uh, regard and now we had a smaller retracement if you compare it with the previous one we can just go for a really quick check so this is the all-time high this is the retracement we had after that so this is 17 uh, percent as you can see 17% is much less than this one. This one was bigger. Okay. Yeah. So you can see the candle is almost one third bigger than that correction that we had recently. So the weekly uh, candle has a green star. This is a buy signal. We are now fighting for this resistance level at 57,500. This is an important resistance level. We had it um, stop the, the price from going upwards uh, before, but you can see that in the next chart, uh, the daily chart, it's easier to check that. So my two trend lines remain unbreakable so far uh, the price action has not crossed my first level of defense and my second level of defense is really uh, far away from the price action so as far as i'm concerned we continue to have a bull market these retracements you have here three retracements since we started this uh, bull market are very healthy they help to not extend the price too much so that's in fact a very good a very good sign however our famous uh, bearish divergence here continues so for the ones that uh, didn't see the previous videos let me just show you guys so we have we have this descending line here for the rsi like that a bit more to the downside maybe like this and then we have the price rising in exactly the same period which goes let's even go from the top of the candle and here so as you can see the price is rising we have a bearish divergence with the rsi uh, so i showed you guys this already we don't need those lines the RSI is, of course, now becoming uh, neutral, going just sideways. It's not, it's not entering the normal area still, so we are a bit overextended. But just by, just by a small, very small space here, we didn't get into the normal area. The MACD is converging, the blue and the red line are converging. So this shows a bit of 
uh, cooling down in the price action so we are not going up like crazy anymore like in the previous months as you know and the Fisher distance from the EMA looks very good approaching the zero level which is the median so we are in very I would say uh, equilibrium we are of course in a bull market but not going crazy so that's what all these indicators give me as the market sentiment right now so let's go to the daily chart and check what's happening here so we had the break of the triangle you remember of course i told you guys that when we went up here because of um, elon musk's tweet we uh you know touched the upper side of the triangle and i said we are going down and probably going to break the base of the triangle we didn't have the normal retracement which would be the equivalent of this side of the triangle here on the left to the downside we didn't get there and one of the main reasons was the 50 period moving average which uh, supported the price very well as you can see here we had a reversal of the price action we came into the triangle again we broke the triangle and we had a very nice rally today uh, almost getting to the upper levels of this new resistance which i say starts around 5 uh, 57 and a half and goes to the almost to the new all-time high so i would say we have a resistance between 58 and 60 uh, which would be around $2,000 uh, area of resistance, which will not be easy to overcome. But I believe that now that we went down here, formed a new fourth range boundary, supported by the moving average, 50 period moving average, and crossing the triangle completely to the upside, crossing also this uh, sideways area that I was uh, talking about last week, we are in a very good uh, position to break all this resistance and uh, move to new all-time highs and we of course me and you all guys i hope uh, you are also expecting the same um, so the volume however uh, worries me a bit because as you can see the volume is declining a bit so this is the daily chart but you can see that we are declining a bit in volume this orange line here shows that we are declining and the mac the, the rsi is turning up so in the daily chart this is uh, bullish also the macd is also very uh, not very bullish yet, but showing signs of becoming bullish again. The convergence of the two lines will make the blue line cross over to the upper side of the orange line. The bars will become green and the MACD will for sure become bullish. Uh, this is no, there's no point analyzing the BitMEX funding rate for now because this is the daily chart, so we don't have an accurate. Uh, level for the current period where we are where i'm exactly recording this video and the distance uh, from the fisher distance from the ema is also approaching neutral levels so it means that we are not deviating too much from the mean okay so the daily chart looks very good to me we are on the on a fourth of nine uh green candle so it means we could have at least four or five more days of upside who knows we could reach the all-time high here not break it maybe come down a bit uh, people like when i when i show them this so what could happen here let's see i think this is the yellow one we could go to the all-time highs over there which is the three uh, third range boundary level we can then probably find a final uh, area of resistance and then going back up again and breaking that resistance towards new all-time highs and of course let me just uh, put it here uh, so not this one uh, yeah this one this one is okay so what could happen is something like that this is the all-time high 
level in white we could find some resistance around here in the next few days come back down a bit find support in previous resistance levels which means around 59 and 500 and probably break the all-time high towards the moon wouldn't that be great towards the moon next time but i will i'm hoping that we <laughs> i'm hoping that we just go for the low 70s for the next trend upwards so let's see what happens uh, so this is a bit of my uh, what I see as very probable and of course I don't like to talk about predictions because I'm not in the prediction business, I don't have a crystal ball, I'm in the uh, probability speculation business as I usually write uh, on Twitter and this is the probability that I find very credible for now. So let's see what happens, but we could reach the low 70Ks uh, soon. So probably in uh, one, two weeks, I don't know, but let's see what happens. And if everyone, if anyone tells you that they know, they are probably lying. So don't get fooled by people that know the future because, <laughs> because that's, that's a bit crazy. Okay, guys, so this was the daily chart. Let's just check quickly the four hour chart. Looks good. Some resistance, a bit of retracement. That's not bad. We had a very nice, a very nice break of the triangle here, the upper side of the triangle. A uh, bit of resistance. We went sideways, then a big uh, candle to the upside, which is a very good uh, uh, sign. Also, we had we faced our first resistance which was faced here here and support here and there and it was also resistance here so as you can see we can we can be probably um facing a uh, nice resistance here but as you see also this this resistance was broken here when we went to the upside then we came back and finally up again on this area so i guess uh, it will not be so hard to break this resistance uh, especially on a bull market like this so i'm expecting sooner or later we cross the 59 and a half thousand the next few days maybe two weeks okay the rsi is a bit neutral now it's just going sideways the macd however is um this is like a new rebirth of that bullish uh, area there then we had a small retracement and we are now again rising so in the four hour chart we are already able to check the bitmax funding rate we are below the dot 11 which for me is the critical level that we should not go above or the market sentiment could tell me that we are approaching some kind of volatile retracement we are now at 0 0.08 so it's not so high not also low but as long as we don't cross the 0 0.11 i'm okay with that i don't expect too much volatility the distance, uh, the Fisher distance from the EMA looks neutral to me. So we are not so, uh, you know, the deviation from the mean is not so high. It's almost neutral. And the four hour chart looks good. This candle here looks good. It would be nicer if the candle turns green and this becomes a hammer, which would be very nice for the. Uh, next candle it would be also a bullish uh, um, you know signal here uh, green candle hammer green candle and the next one could already start a new upward uh, short-term trend okay let's check the one hour quickly just to see the okay so we crossed a bit as you can see the market sentiment of the bitmax funding rate is very very nice as 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 soon as we crossed and i can zoom in here so you guys can see so we crossed this for three bars we crossed the 0 0.11 and look what happened we had a retracement just after that 
Also, we had the Nemo right top here in the one hour on the one hour chart with the C extension. So that was uh, to be expected, the retracement here. But also, if you think about it at the same time as you see the BitMEX funding rate going above the 11 percentage, then that tells me that we are approaching a retracement. The RSI, of course, uh, showed this retracement here. Uh, going down, the MACD also turned down, the blue line turned down. We are having a bit of uh, uh, turning neutral RSI and MACD and the uh, distance, the official distance from the EMA is also now approaching the neutral level. So that means the retracement could be over for now. And let me just go back to the uh, one, one, uh, the daily chart and check if this is now becoming support uh yes this was resistance here and then it became support for a short period of time became support here before we crash to the downside so uh if we cross this if we just cross a bit more to the 59 ish price level levels we could find support here for the next all-time high so that would be a very nice uh, sign that the bull market is still going in full force don't forget guys i'm i am regarding this market i am still very very bullish in the long term i don't believe these retracements mean anything that we are not even going for a new top uh by the end of the summer beginning of um you know uh, fall i believe that will be around the end of summer beginning of fall that will be our next top around those dates and i am still very bullish towards that goal of the price to time model that we can achieve the 280,000 for Bitcoin for each Bitcoin around that period. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If the price to time model is wrong, then it's wrong. But at least we have very nice indications of that, uh, the price to time model of being right. And especially if you think that the stock to flow model also points to uh, top around 288,000 for uh, for one Bitcoin, uh, close to the summer, end of summer this year. And also if you think about what Willy Wu is doing, um, uh, analyzing on-chain and doing a very, very nice work uh, with on-chain analysis, he points to a next stop of 300,000 for each Bitcoin. So I guess uh, having the three, the three, uh, two models and one on-chain analysis pointing to very similar prices uh, gives me a very nice sentiment uh, that uh, we could be, you know, pointing to a very close area where the price could reach the top around 280 300 so something in between i don't know but we will see for sure this year and if my model is wrong then <laughs> the stock to flow model is wrong then willy was wrong everyone is wrong but i guess i guess that um, when when it comes to discussing stock to flow model which is uh, done by plan b who is one of the best analysts uh, we have um, in this uh, space and also Willy Wu uh, you know their reputation precedes them anywhere and you know I'm not even trying to get uh, to the same level of being a good as good analyst as they are but if they point to those prices and my my model is pointing to a price below those those levels that they discussed before I believe that my my model is a bit more conservative and if they if they believe in those prices then it sort of uh, validates uh, all the three um not predictions but probabilities of reaching those uh, levels okay so let's just uh, take a um, short a quick look here on the pro indicator strategy so this is my other strategy we are of course huh, we the momentum the momentum and um 
the sine wave which is the white line here so let me just show you guys so we had an indication from the by the uh, by the indicator that we had a divergence in this area of the price action we are now past that but the sine wave which is the white line and the momentum are just getting together near the level of overextended we have two bearish uh, signals here two small circles as you can see we had another one here with the divergence uh, so let's see what let's see what uh, this uh, price action brings us we could have a small retracement of course we are reaching the trend channel top we are not even close to the context uh, resistance which is the gray area but however we are exactly approaching the trend the trend channel here in red as you can see we are exactly touching that and as soon as we touch this indicators trend channel in red the price went down and had a small retracement here so of course we are now using this area this whole area as support as you know this is a very nice area for support so if we actually if we could cross a bit more just a bit more to the upside around 58 58 and 500 that would be a very very nice achievement and we could see that the support would become very much stronger so uh, let me just draw something here which i completely forgot since the last time that we came to the area of interest as you know i drew i plotted this area of interest much before the price was coming down this was plotted around this area of the price action i said that we could come down to this area form a fourth range boundary this would be a very nice area for longs and i hope that people that was uh, on the same page as me regarding this area i hope they went long here they are making money and everything uh would be very nice for them so i hope you took the opportunity of longing bitcoin around the fifty thousand area where we just got on our fourth range boundary which i will now uh plot here so here we are and i'm just gonna change this to fourth range boundary okay okay and that's it we have our fourth range boundary this is confirmed unless we have some completely crazy price action from now on and we come back down here to the cherry on top price area and we could have a new fourth range boundary and a new opportunity to go long and make even more money so that would be nice but i have doubts that we will come back here so soon okay guys let me just uh, stop the screen share mm -hmm. okay so as I said in the beginning of this video, I thank you all so much for the support you have been giving me. I, we are really close to reach 500 subscribers. I would really like to reach the 1000 number. That would be a very nice round number so that we could start thinking about the next level for our videos. We could have uh, one of my first ideas would be to have a live stream every week or if this becomes a nice uh, thing and you guys like it we could even do it more than once a week but we could we could have for start we could have a once a week live uh, stream mm, probably a very good day for that would be the sunday near the closing of the week and we could see it live while on stream and you guys asking me questions and probably we could also analyze some other charts if you want me to uh, that would be no uh, problem for me although you know i'm a bit of a you know bitcoin standard bearer so uh, as previously i called a maximalist but any anyway as a trader i can trade anything um so that would be no problem for me to just analyze any chart uh we could also take a look at charts like gold and silver and stuff like that so 
uh, I guess the live stream would be a nice uh, next level step that we could achieve. So please, guys, if you if you would really like that, let's try to grow the community a bit because it makes more sense to have at least 1000 su subscribers and doing live streams because I'm not expecting, of course, 1000 people live with me. And that would be completely crazy. But usually what happens is you get around five to 10% of the subscribers uh, when you do a live show. So that would mean like uh, uh, 50 people maximum maybe 100 because I doubt I doubt we, we will have more than 10% of the subscribers but that would be a very nice uh, thing to do so I hope we can reach the 1000 subscribers level soon and let's see what happens then I can of course interact with you about uh, when would be the nicest day of the week to have the live stream and we can go from there uh, so let's hope everything goes okay in that sense so guys, uh, that's it for me today. We are already a bit extended. It's about uh, 30 minutes of video. So this is, this will be a pain in the neck to not, not to say anything else, just to upload this video to YouTube. You should, you should, you guys should know I have a fiber. Uh, I have a fiber connection in my, uh, at this place where I record the videos at my home. And this fiber connection is uh, one gigabit upload, uh, sorry, one gigabit download and 400 megabits upload. So it's a very, you know, very, uh, very good connection I have to the internet. However, every time I try to upload a video with more than 15 minutes or 20 minutes, this is a pain in the ass just to upload that to YouTube because it takes more than two and a half hours. Sometimes it takes three hours to upload like a 25, 20 minutes video. So that's why sometimes I, I just record the video. Everything looks in one way. And then when the video gets there to YouTube, it's completely different a chart already, or we had a big retracement or high volatility. So everything looks different. That's also why live shows are very nice because you can uh, interact with the people at the same time as the price action is occurring. So there are no deviations in time and everything looks good. So guys, uh, let's not extend this too much. And I uh, thank you very much for watching the video till the end hit the um, you know smash the like button if you enjoy this content and share this channel with your friends subscribe if you are new and that's it i will see you in the next one bye bye